Now, if you are a newer player to Deep Woken, there is three insanely important Echo Talent quests you should be doing. Now, these quests will give you three... Well, there's actually four talents that you will unlock passively for every character you make after you obtain these. All you have to do to get these on your character after you do attain them is just power up to a certain power and it will automatically unlock it without you having to grab a card or anything like that. Now, the first talent quest that you will be getting is in Pathfinder's Respite. And this is Aerial Assault, which is personally one of my favorite ones of these because it is just a passive buff to your dash. Now all you do have to do to accept this quest is talk to the guy in kind of like the temple ruins right here. And his name is Ivory, but he would just go on to a little thing saying that he's going to make you his disciple and everything. Now all this makes you do is run all the way up to the bandit camp and go above it where the temple of the forgotten flame is. And once you peer into the flame or gaze into it, however it words it, all you have to do is kind of go to the left up there jump off and glide all the way back to Pathfinder's Respite and then talk to this guy again and you will unlock Aerial Dash and it will also give you a little bit of XP for completing the quest. Now the next Echo Talent quest is at the Garden Reservoir and this will give you both Critical Attack and Engage which are pretty crucial talent cards for PvP. Now all you have to do for this one is talk to the guy sitting in front of the cave and he should go on a small story about how his friends died to a Sharko. So all you have to do to complete this quest is go kill a Sharko inside of this cave. It doesn't have to be in the cave, just anywhere the closest one should be in the cave though. And after you do that, all you have to do is go back and talk to him and he will give you a free talent card and the two Echo talents for it. Now the last Echo Talent quest that you can do for an Echo Talent is all the way in the Bolster Rift. Now it will take about 5 minutes to boat here from the Etrian Luminate all the way here. And then on top of it, it will probably take you 5 to 10 minutes to run or figure your way all the way here. But once you do get here, you should see Jessamine kind of standing in a corner right here where like a little rubble area is at. Once you talk to her, she will give you a quest to go kill a Mama thrasher or a king thrasher whatever you like to call it now it is a little difficult to find a mama thrasher through just random spawns but you can go to the thrasher nest and find one that's manually spawns there all the time but after you kill it all you have to do is come back like all the other ones talk to her again and she will unlock thrasher scales which will make it where every time you hit power 10 you can set up a campfire and fully regen your armor for free of cost now there is one more Echo Talent that you can get in Deep Woken, and this is called Chains of Perfection. Now this Echo Talent is probably the strongest one in the game so far, and it does make it where every time you hit a PvE entity, you do gain, I think, 5% per uh, like M1 or hit. Now monsters can count as multiple stacks, and it does stack all the way up until two times, until you do take damage and then it disappears. But the way you do get Chains of Perfection is you do have to fully solo and perfect the boss without getting hit once. So it is really hard to get. There are a few cheese methods out there if you do want to just cheese it and get it before they probably patch most of these cheeses. But that is all I do have for you guys today. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it so far.